What's going on everybody? My name is Arun. Welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on the my numerical Python package NumPy. So in this tutorial, we will be talking about the mesh grid command in detail. So let's say you have a graph sheet, something like this. All right. So uh, on the x-axis, I have my values between zero to four uh, marked at regular intervals of one. Similarly, I have my values marked along my y-axis. If I were to plot each and every point on my graph sheet of this graph sheet, let's say, I need to make vertical lines about my x-axis at each and every marker marking and horizontal lines about each and every mark in my y-axis and let them intersect. As and when they intersect at the points of intersection, I take I mark the coordinate values like this. If you take these coordinate values separately and then uh, take take these coordinate values separately and then take the x-axis value x-axis quad x coordinates for each and every point in a separate matrix and y coordinate value for each and every point in a y in a separate matrix i notice something like i notice some pattern over here this matrix xx which is the collection of all the x coordinate values for each and every point is 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 a repetition of the x axis matrix that i've written uh, row wise if i put my x axis as my row matrix in the first and keep it as my first row and repeat it several times and I get xx. Similarly, if I take my y-axis matrix and keep it as a column matrix and repeat it several times as rows, then I get my y yy matrix. And notice one more thing. The number of rows over here in xx equals the number of entries in y matrix and number of columns in my yy matrix equals the number of entries in my x matrix over here. Cool. So this way you have two matrices. If I were to go about with making plots like a visualization, let's say, I need two matrices, one matrix containing the X coordinates of each and every point like this and Y coordinates for each and every point like this. Cool. So let's get started. This command mesh grid will help you to gen achieve this easily. Okay. So let's get started. So I have my X mat X. Uh, let's get an X matrix first. So let this be linearly spaced between uh, minus four and four and let there be nine points in between and similarly y uh, let it be linearly spaced between uh, minus five and five and let there be uh, 11 points cool so now we have x and y matrices ready creating xx and yy the just like in the example we saw is pretty simple just uh, type np dot mesh grid and then you specify x and y and there you go now if you look at xx as we saw in the as we saw in the explanation if i keep my x axis x axis matrix as a row matrix and repeat it num repeat it uh, repeat it based on the number of entries in y based on the number of entries in y and i get xx so uh, just to give you a clarify this the shape of xx is 11 comma 9 since there are already nine entries in my x axis so I'll give I have nine columns, and there, since I'm this matrix is repeated eleven times, I get uh, I get eleven rows, and this eleven corresponds to the size of my y matrix over here. Like okay, similarly, if I were to look at y y matrix and look at the shape of y y matrix, it's again eleven comma nine. That's because there are eleven entries in my y y matrix, and I repeat this nine uh, nine times in the, along the columns. So. I have uh, I have eleven by nine matrix for Y by as well. Now one advantage of this is that I have a, I mean both in both the cases the XX and Y will have the same shape. Okay, so if I want to make a gridded data, let's say if I have a function where I want to calculate the function value at each and every point, I can use the get the X values from this matrix and Y value from uh, Y coordinate value from this matrix. Okay, just to give you an example, let's draw an ellipse function. An ellipse function such that uh, I want to find the value of a function such that uh, whose va such that it's like this. That is, uh, I want to see um, the qu I want to see the function x x x x squared plus four y squared. I want to see how this looks in a field, so to speak. Okay, and I just have to do this. The x values comes from the xx matrix uh, and then y values come from the yy matrix accordingly and they'll work as it is. And now if I just type plt.contourf, contourf, and I have to type, uh, pass in xx and yy and then I type uh, ellipse, ellipse, and then I can give a color map as well, c 
map and then let me give this as uh, rainbow color uh, jet all right and then I just give a legend uh, color bar and then plt dot show and uh, there you go now I have an ellipse function ready from ellipse function field function ready for me whose values are plotted like this cool now I have a field data ready now, inst now instead of this ellipse data over here even if I have some data let's say um, what's the size of this 11 comma 9 so let's say I have some random data random data which is np dot random dot random and I specify uh, 11 comma 9 over here and then I plot uh, do, the, do the same thing instead of ellipse I just plot random data random data and then give a color bar and then a legend and there you go I have my random data ready over here I have my plot ready as it is cool this way I this way you can either generate data with these indices or uh, make get data and then use these indexes for plotting all right so that being said this is one way of creating met uh, one way of creating in, in these index matrices uh, grid matrices xx and yy there's also another indexing method that is used to call as a matrix index method earlier the one we saw is called as a cartesian indexing method because it is derived from by the by the coordinate positions in a uh, cartesian graph Carte cartesian coordinates of the graph so to speak Whereas this one is uh, is derived from the matrix indexes or uh, matrix notations. So if we have any if we have uh, any entry in um, matrix, you will specify the row row position and the column position. Okay. Let's say uh, if there is a matrix with a two by two matrix, I mean three by three matrix with three rows and three columns, and I'm using Python notation here. So th this will be my first zero row and zero column, zero row first column, zero row second column like that. So the first one will denote my row position and second one will denote my column position. And if I take my row positions, uh, row positions as and club them together as my xx matrix, and club take my column positions, column positions, and then I club them together to as my column matrix. Let's say, column matrix. I mean, uh, let's let's say I notice something interesting x-axis is as if my x-axis matrix is written as a column and repeated uh, repeated based on the number of based on number of entries in y and y y matrix is as if my x-axis matrix is uh, y-axis matrix is taken and repeated row wise based on the number of entries in my x-axis x-axis matrix all right so one thing uh, this is actually the indexing ma 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 indexing method and this is actually helpful in certain cases as well sometimes if you uh, sometimes uh, if you want to pick out a particular data let's say indexing methods is much easier but if you want to plot them Cartesian uh, coordinate is easier so in the either either one of the cases you can use um, you can use either fun either ways I would say so if you want to create data such that um, such that your mesh grid has such to be such that the, you want to follow the matrix matrix indexing notation you have to you have to give this other additional keyword indexing and then you specify ij by default it is x comma x y indicating cartesian indexing this instead of this you just type ij and there you go you have your matrix uh, indexing with you okay and now if you look at xx1 in comparison to xx you see this xx1 is actually a flip or a transpose of uh, xx1 xx is a transpose of xx1 xx or either vice versa similarly yy and yy1 these are transposes of each other cool now with that be with that being said if i want to cross verify if they cross verify let's say if i want to be a little more so serious and i want to see if this uh, want to be if this is I want to check if they are properly transpose of each other i can use this command np dot all okay and then i type xx equals double equals xx1 dot t this dot t means transpose and presenter if you get a value say true it means each and every entry in x and xx1 uh, transpose are exactly the same indicating that x xx and xx1 are perfect transposes of each other similarly i can do this for yy as well so i just type yy and then yy1 
and press enter sure enough they are perfect transposes all right so if you are more concerned about putting the data in a matrix notation use the indexing ij if you're concerned about putting the data in a cartesian coordinate let's say you go with uh, go with the xy indexing notation all right so that's all i have for you all in this video this is a good elaborate explanation of uh, mesh grid in the next video i i'll talk about um, i'll continue with the plot and continue with the com um, other function that are useful for plotting uh, ma and making gridded data uh, namely um, mgrid ogrid and hopefully broadcast arrays all right so thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time